And in Michigan, the Diocese of Marquette is making some noise over an instruction on the aspects of pastoral care of homosexuals and those with gender dysphoria. In tonight's in-depth report, Church Militant's Nadia Hazimi breaks down the document and the diocese's noteworthy move. Priests in the Diocese of Marquette are instructed to deny all the sacraments to transgender and non-binary individuals unless they have repented. This may be a first of any diocese in the United States. Bishop John Durfler issued the guide in July, but it only started making waves after pro-gay Father James Martin tweeted his discontent on Tuesday. It is not a sin to be transgender. Transgender people are beloved children of God, struggling to understand their identity. They need to be accepted with respect, compassion, and sensitivity. If Martin read the guide in its entirety, he'd see it does in fact ask priests multiple times to show kindness and respect to those struggling with those tendencies. And they would begin by saying, Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. In doing so, one would help the individual to overcome their homosexual temptations or gender dysphoria so they may live a life pleasing to God. According to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, everyone, man and woman, should acknowledge and accept his sexual identity. Physical, moral, and spiritual difference and complementary are oriented toward the goods of marriage and the flourishing of family life. The Marquette document also notes experiencing feelings and desires that are not in accord with the true meaning and purpose of sexuality is not sinful. We commit a sin if we freely and deliberately act on disordered desires. Someone who identifies as a different gender or has attempted gender transitioning and wishes to be baptized needs to repent. This does not require reversing any physical changes to the body. LGBT Catholic advocates are critiquing the guide. Canon lawyer Dr. Jennifer Hazelberger is puzzled. There's nobody who approaches baptism from a state of perfection. The presumption is the opposite. You come to baptism as a sinner and original sin is forgiven you. The self-proclaimed feminist who puts pronouns in her Twitter bio also misunderstands. The guide allows for a person who recognizes they have a problem and is willing to work to turn away from it to be welcomed into the church. Francis D. Bernardo, executive director of New Ways Ministry, said the guide could lead to, quote, decimation of the Catholic community by creating division among the faithful. Other keyboard warriors who are lost on church teaching are giving sharp criticism of the diocese on Twitter. And there in that relationship with Jesus, we find the joy of the gospel. Former parishioners have called a number of homilies from Marquette, quote, outrageously right wing. Faithful Catholics are calling this a win. Nadia Hazimi, Church Militant Evening News, Detroit. Since most people are baptized as babies, the guide is geared for teens and adults receiving other sacraments and for those who've never known the church but are interested in becoming part of it. 